you doing, Patty? Making sure my dam is eel-friendly. Captain Nemo's gonna be calling any minute. Hmm. Haven't heard from Nemo in a while. Yeah, he's like the king of social distancing. Well, speak of the... Hey, Captain. How's it going, eh? No time for chit-chat. Here's your next mission. Muscles. Wow, a fitness program? <laughs> Not muscles. Muscles. The hickory nut is an endangered species of freshwater mussel. There have been recent sightings near the Finley Islands, and I need you to investigate. Follow these coordinates. Nemo out. I'm heading upstream! I'm not moving a muscle. And Patty winds his way up the Ottawa River. A team of divers and scientists have been documenting the largest reported population density of hickory nut in Canada. Hi, I'm Patty. I'm Marie May Muscle. Enchanté. Oh, your shell is so cool, Mary May. Every year there's another ring and another sad chapter to our story. We used to be all around the Great Lakes, but then <gasps> the pollution, the dams, and <gasps> the invaders. Oh, the zebra mussel is the worst. It attaches onto us so that we can't move, feed, or even breathe. C'est tragique. Mais oui. In many places we are extirpated, but in much of the Ottawa River, zebra mussels have been kept away, and there are lots of us. That's great. Hey, how do mussels multiply? Ah, I love the questions about the science. The hickory nut's life cycle uses the help of a host fish called... a con... Olga? The lake sturgeon. Lake sturgeon are one of Canada's largest freshwater fish. Some can grow to 300 pounds and live over 100 years. They play a crucial role in the ecosystem as a host species for the hickory nut. When a mussel's eggs are fertilized, it releases its larvae into the waters. Those larvae latch onto the gills of lake sturgeon like Stewie here. I feel so used. The mussel larvae then undergo a metamorphosis, like the butterflies. When they're ready, they simply let go of Stewie and settle in the sand somewhere else. So we need the lake sturgeon to survive. Everything in the river is interconnected. Exactly. Lake sturgeon used to migrate freely for thousands of years, and they played an important role in Algonquin Anishinaabe culture. But commercial fishing and the construction of dams fragmented their habitat. And if the sturgeon is under threat, so are the mussels who depend on them. Marie May? Oui? River keepers and other New Atlanteans are working to protect the hickory nut. Each of you filters thousands of liters of water every year, and you are our best alarm system against water pollution and ecosystem imbalance. We need you, Marie May. Merci, Capitaine. I feel I'm in good hands. Oh, shucks. Now please put me back. Okie dokie. <laughs>